Hello and welcome to Sudoku Pro. Hello everyone, this is Uma Maheshwari solving the three star Sudoku puzzle from today's in the newspaper dated 28th February 2023. Let's get started. Let me start with a shortcut here in block 2. In block 2, we have 5 empty cells. Out of these 5 empty cells, these 3 cells are blocked by the numbers in 0 here. We have uh, 1, 2 and 3 in 0, but we already have a 1 here. So let's ignore this 1. Now you have this 2 and 3 blocking these 3 cells. And we are left with two empty cells in block two. That means two and three can go in these two cells. We have three blocking from B row. So B5 takes two and A6 takes three. Similarly, down here in block eight, we have this um, three and nine blocking these three cells. And we have two cells left empty here. That means 3 and 9 goes in these two cells. We have 3 blocking from column 4. So I4 takes 9 and H5 takes 3. Now here in this block 8, we have 3 empty cells and the missing numbers are 1, 5 and 6. Uh, there is 6 in column 4 and 6 in column 6 blocking these two cells. So 6 goes here in G5. Now 1 and 5 are missing here. If you uh, scrutinize this column 4, you have this 1 in C row blocking this cell and there is a 1 in D row blocking this cell. That means 1 can be only in here in G4. So 1 goes here in G4 and 5 goes here in G6. Now here in block 2, the missing numbers are 7, 8 and 9. You have the 7 and 9 blocking from column 4. So C4 takes 8. 7 and 9 goes in these two cells but we do not have direct clues across. But here uh, you have this 9 in F row blocking this cell. So 9 goes here in C6 and 7 goes here in C5. Now in column 6 there is only one empty cell and the missing number is 7. Similarly, here in column 4, there is only one empty cell and the missing number is 5. Now, here in column 5, there are only 3 empty cells and the missing numbers are 1, 8 and 9. You have this 1 and 8 in E row blocking this cell. So, E5 takes 9. Now, 1 and 8 goes in these two cells. We have 1 blocking from D row. So, D5 takes 8 and F5 takes 1. This 5, 6 in A row, this 5, 6 pair in A row blocks these two, these two cells. So 5 and 6 goes in these two cells here. Now coming down here, this 1 blocks these two cells. That means 1 has to be in one of these two cells here, but we have 1 blocking from H row. So 1 goes here in I1. There is a 2 here in H row blocking this cell and there is a 2 here in E row blocking this cell. That means 2 goes here in D1. This 4 from E row blocks here. So 4 goes here in H1. And now the only missing number in column 1 is 7. Similarly here, similar, similar to this block 1, uh, here also we have this small square of numbers. Whenever you have such small square of numbers, you need to look at the numbers blocking these cells or numbers blocking these cell. Now here uh, you have this 4, 8 pair in, in I row blocking these two cells that means 4 and 8 goes in these two cells we have 4 blocking from H row so H9 takes 8 and G9 takes 4 now in H row there are only two empty cells and the missing numbers are 5 and 9 we have 9 blocking from column 3 so H3 takes 5 and H2 takes 9 
Now in uh, zero, we have only two empty cells and the missing numbers are seven and eight, but we do not have any clues of seven and eight across. So now considering seven and eight goes here, we have only two empty cells here in this block and the missing numbers are two and six. We have this two blocking from column two. So I2 takes six and I3 takes two. Uh, now uh, coming to this D row, we have four empty cells. We have two empty cells this side and two empty cells this side. Now we have this uh, seven and nine blocking these two cells. That means seven and nine goes in these two cells. We have nine blocking from here. So D7 takes seven and D8 takes nine. Now in D row, we have only two empty cells and the missing numbers are three and four. We have this three blocking from column two. So D, D, D2 takes four and D3 takes three. Now in block four, we have only three empty cells. We have this five blocking these two cells. So five goes here in F2. Now six and eight goes in these two cells. We have eight blocking from E row. So E3 takes six and F3 takes eight. Uh, now in E row, we have only two empty cells and the missing numbers are three and five. We have this three blocking from column nine. So E7 takes three and E9 takes five. Now here in I row, we have only two empty cells and the missing numbers are three and five. We have this three blocking from column seven. So I7 takes five and I8 takes three. We know that seven and eight pair goes in these two cells. Now we have eight blocking from column three. So G3 takes seven and G2 takes eight. We know that five, six pair goes in these two cells. Considering that we have only two missing numbers and the missing numbers are four and seven. We have this four blocking from column two. So A2 takes seven and A3 takes four. Uh, now here in F row, there are three empty cells and the missing numbers are two, four and six. We have this two and six blocking from column eight. So F8 takes Four. Now in column eight, we have only three empty cells and the missing numbers are one, five and seven. We have this five and seven blocking from A row. So A8 takes one. Five and seven goes in these two cells. We have seven blocking from C row. So C8 takes five and B8 takes seven. Now this five from C row blocks here. So B C1 takes six and B1 takes Five. Now in C row, there is only one empty cell and the missing number is four. Uh, here in A row, the missing numbers are two and nine. We have this nine blocking from column seven. So A7 takes two and A9 takes nine. Here in B row, the missing numbers are six and eight. We have this eight blocking from column nine. So B9 takes six and B7 takes eight. Here we miss two and six. We have this six blocking from here so d sorry f9 takes 2 and f7 takes 6 and the puzzle is solved hello friends how did you find the puzzle today today the puzzle was thoroughly enjoyable and interesting please share your experience in the comment box thank you for watching and have a nice day